Nice to get both your feet on the floor and feel the connection to the earth through the layers underneath you. And take another breath into the center of your body. And feel the connection through your crown chakra and your breath so that you are one beautifully heaven and earth connected being, you in the center, you in the present, in the now, nothing to do, being right here, ready to receive, being open, Feeling the energy in the room, allowing each energy here to create for you a beautiful blanket of love that surrounds this family, that holds us just lightly in this moment together as one loving light. Greetings, dear ones. I'm Cryon of Magnetic Service. There are many here who have not experienced this. Not like this. You may have heard of the channeling, perhaps you have listened to it. But perhaps it's the first time you've sat and had it presented to you live. And if it is your first time, no matter who you are or how invested you are in metaphysics, your brain wants to deny it completely. It requires you to actually shift that which you would accept as normal or not. You're trained to survive. Your psyche is trained to be careful. When you step off a curb, you look down. And that which is logical in your brain takes in everything that happens to you and weighs the reality of it. Is it normal? Is it within the purview of acceptability? Should you move forward? Should you not? A man sits in a chair and channels that from beyond and your brain spins around. It is normal. I know it. Now there are some who sense and feel energy. And for those, a switch is turned and they've done it so often, like a muscle that they exercise. That when they walk up to a situation, the first thing they do is sense energy instead of logic. And between the two of them and the intellect, they make a wiser decision. Because they know about energy. The three things together, the logic, intellect, energy, and maybe even add intuition, will push them to a place that makes sense. My partner spent the first half of his life using two of those, logic and intellect. And if you ask him to feel the energy, he would ask you where the battery was or if you were going to stick your finger in a socket for energy to him was that which you create to plug something in the wall <laughs> now that is not uncommon with a great deal of humanity and we've told you why in the past this is not an indictment of humanity it's logic. 
added to energy and intuition that humans would do this because this is survival if you start to open the box of possibilities and relax a little bit with what might be real you start to acknowledge there are energies to be felt on the planet that go beyond logic and intellect one of the ones that every human, every human being understands is love how do you feel when you fall in love how do you feel when you look at your children how do you feel about the alliance with an animal how do some of you feel about the alliance you feel when you're with Gaia pure Gaia I'm talking about the tree huggers here and you'll know that there is something there that goes way beyond logic and intellect this is what we speak of if you will buy into the the premise that love is an energy that is completely and totally off the scale of intellect and logic that's a beginning and then you have to ask yourself if you're scientific what is it why does it affect you the way it does now if you're a psychologist you'll say well that's just emotions you see emotions will screw up logic <laughs> and intellect and you got to say that is not an answer at all that's a symptom what is it why do certain emotions carry an energy that would surpass survival and then you get into what we are talking about For we have said to you that what you think is God the creative source is the fabric of love love for humanity love for a soul that is eternal a beautiful system that goes beyond any love on the planet from human to human human to child or human to animal or Gaia and then you start the journey using logic if this is the way it is then could there be more are there other energies that you cannot see that may actually be a player in your life in consciousness enter cryon I need those of you who can feel energy to feel it now to sense and discern for your survival is this real there is an entourage around us right now and you can't see him so much of this entourage comes with you not me you come here to see this to listen to the channeling to weigh whether it might feel real or not or if it's the man in the chair pretending and at the same time there is this there are so many around you filled with love for you who can't touch you we've said it before they can't touch you if you're an unbeliever there is no judgment but there's a sadness that you carry an entourage call them angels if you wish you gotta call them something human being because that's what you do if I says there's an entourage of energy that goes with you you'd say great what are their names and how many are there and we'd say there are no names and we can't count them and you'd say I don't believe it they've got to be qualified if there's somebody there they've got to have names I gotta be able to paint them perhaps at least number them how many are there and we'll say yes some of you will have that stop your intellect that's not possible you're right it isn't in 3d for your intellect all your life they'll walk next to you and the sad part of it is without free choice of you they cannot touch you they can't say hello they can't tell you something is is happening you're walking into danger or you're walking into synchronicity you're walking down the street 
about to meet the partner of your life and they want to celebrate and have a party and hope you notice. <laughs> and if you're connected, hairs are going to stand up on the back of your neck. It's called synchronicity. You're going to stop and look around and discover that. That's the difference. It's about energy. If I could paint a bigger picture for you, I would even say the entourage is actually physical. It's part of a quantum experience that you have not yet discovered or know about. Is it possible that spirituality itself could have patterning and be seen? And the answer is yes, it's physics. Dear ones, the master physician is the creator of the universe. All things that were created are part of the system of creation. That is God. That ought to make you feel good. There's a system and it's beautiful. It's not that which is airy fairy, you might say, and you just gotta face a certain direction and, and hold your foot right, as some would say, in order to then find something that's a secret. There are multi-dimensional portals all over this planet simply because that's the way things work in physics. Some see them, some do not. Some know what they are. Some assign physical attributes to them. Not really understanding, you can't do that. Some will ask where they are, not understanding, they come and go. Sometimes they move around. If you have a quantum physicist in the audience, they'll tell you why. That's just physics. It's the beauty of what I'm telling you today. There is reality here that goes beyond that which is only logic and intellect. Perhaps you would like to awaken to a bigger box. And if you do, you're going to have an aha. This might be real. It is. To many here who have heard it before and sit because they want to experience the entourage. The entourage, listen to this, again, did not come with me. It came with all of you. It's huge. It represents a soul group, you. They all know each other and you don't. Isn't that odd? How would you like to tune in to a little more of that? What if you got up from the chair, saw somebody you never knew before, approach them, look in their eye, and greet the God in them that is in the God in you. Did you know that they're a family, that there's an alliance? If you both sense energy, you will know it. If you both hug one another, there'll be a reunion. Dear ones, this is real. The family gets together every single time those of like mind, or even those who are curious, will come together. My partner was a hard case. But he sits in front of you today doing that which he calls the wind chimes and fruit loops experience. Awed to the max, not in your 3D, denied by so many people who say it's not possible, it's a charade. And he came along very difficult. But he went to certain groups and meetings and what he felt there was emotion. He felt the fact that it was safe, he felt his heart open. He experienced things for the first time as an engineer. It was difficult to open that can. But when it got open, it never closed. It never does, dear ones. You can't go backwards when you know the truth. You knew that. Oh, you can deny it. Then you're in denial. But the can that you open never closes. There is no delete key in the brain. You cannot erase what you discovered. And so it is this time and this place with the attributes that the astrologer said were here. A great time to complete an old energy, to open yourselves to probabilities and possibilities and you don't have to know what they are. Dear ones, you don't have to know. Part of walking this path 
or the affirmations that say bring me what is mine to have what I've asked for in ways I don't know I will be comfortable with what I don't know and I will look forward to benevolent outcomes that I don't know because I walk in the light of the creator that I have inside I create my own reality even though I don't know what it's going to be how about that and to some that's nonsense and to others it's the mantra of life that's the channeling for the day until later it really is about what you will allow it begs the question of who you are and what you carry out and what the biases are what you will allow or not allow isn't that interesting I'm asking you what walls have you put up for yourself to protect yourself from what being foolish are you in control of your life or not if you are you can drop the barriers for a day and if you don't like what you see and it doesn't make sense you're in control put them back up walk out of here just like you came or not what's wrong with this I invite you to see what's here I invite you to experience the love that is here I want you to experience the benevolence that is here for you like you never have before light workers who have been light workers for years and years this is new not the old energy it's not the old new age this is new these are things that want to touch you and as an, a light worker where have you built your barriers or what you think is happening or not happening or what you think you tried that did and did not work throw them away it's a new time it really is it really is all good news beautiful waiting to be discovered by anyone listening or sitting in the chair in front of me and so it is